Hello, 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 good morning. Muy buenos dias, continuous line coffee cup drawers. Let me turn this around. You know, I'm not a big fan of Starbucks and um, I certainly would never promote them, but of all those like city, they have the cups of all the cities. I really, really, really like the, the Guanajuato cup, right? Because it's just, it's got the tunnels, it's got, um, is that mummies? It's got mummies. Uh, there's Don Quixote. There's the froggy, <laughs> lots of frogs in Guanajuato. There's the dish, which is like vegetables on, what are those things called? Enchiladas. <laughs> oh, there's the mummy. And let's see what else we got. The kissing alley. And there's um, the church that's right in front of Ugo's place that I draw quite often. Oh, and there's the um, church, de, not De La Paz, but that's, I, I've drawn a lot of the items that were on this mug, so I felt like I had to get it. And I live in Guanajuato now. <laughs> All right, how is everyone doing? If, if we are on day three, wait, <laughs> day three. <laughs> <laughs> of the coffee sketch 2023 and you know what um you know i kind of practice this stuff a lot but i am not immune to like the heebie-jeebies of like oh my god i can't do this and so my first coffee cup that i did i did it up on the roof and i as i was drawing it i was like oh my god megan you don't even know how to draw anymore <laughs> You're all like, oh, this is supposed to be coffee sketch and you're so good at it. No, I mean, I still, you know, I kind of stumbled through this and I can, I like it. I'm not knocking it. This is a good coffee cup for 10 minutes or whatever I did. But I really felt like, oh, this is kind of awkward, right? And so what I did is I got out my sketchbook from, well, it was actually two years ago. And, um, you know, when we did the coffee sketch thing back in 2021. And so, you know, I showed you guys all these like really pretty coffee cups and, oh, look how good. And look at how, it, oh, she's so good at the coffee cups. My God, she's like a coffee cup professional, right? Oh my God, it just keeps getting better, right? <laughs> but. Uh, truth be told, the very first page of the sketchbook, <laughs> here, here's what I did. And I remember I was almost in tears because I was like, holy crap, I don't know how to draw a coffee cup. And ironically, it's literally the same coffee cup. And I didn't even plan it that way, right? <laughs> Because I have, oh, I don't have it right here, but I have this whole series of coffee cups that I got um, in Mexico City at the farmer's market on Sunday, right? So anyways, two years later, this was my first go at it with um, my coffee cup. And then this is a scene from Guanajuato. I'm quite challenged by the landscape of Guanajuato. It's very vertical, right? And so I'm... Uh, my goal is to kind of get a handle on it, if I can even say that. Actually, I don't even want to say it that way because that makes it, that sets me up like, oh, I can control this thing. I really am just trying to figure out a way to draw the crazy landscape that I'm surrounded by, right? So I'm just going to keep trying that. And in addition to that, like, I don't want to just do the same thing. And I don't want anyone to feel like, because especially with a subject like coffee cups, you can be like, I'm done. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. I've had enough, enough with the coffee cups. Give me a glass of wine, which by the way, you can draw your glass of wine. You don't always just have to draw coffee cups, right? Any sort of drinking vessel, have at it, right? The thing that is that makes the, a drinking vessel, and I'll say that whether it's a coffee cup, tea cup, uh, what other kind of cups are there? I can't even think right now. Juice cup, <laughs> um, beer stein. The thing that is challenging, why it's such a good challenge, is how do you how do you tell the story of this? Well, that's like an oval, right? How do you tell the story of like? 
this is a coffee cup that this part of it is closer to you this part of it is closer to me right and then I'm right by a window so you got the light source coming in here meaning that it's darker over here right so um, simple coffee cup no problema but as you perhaps get into it you might want to like how can I how can I draw this I don't even want to say different but how can you just go deeper in the practice I need a little sip <laughs> of my delicious Oaxaca coffee. Um, and so that is your challenge, right? I, as I was looking at my sketchbook from last year, I'm not even gonna go too deep on it, but I really, this was more about um, experimenting with color, right? Which is totally fine. And like direct watercolor, which I totally had fun with. And I'm gonna just, cause even I can get in these places, like I'm already out of ideas. It's day three and I'm out of ideas. <laughs> uh, and so what am I going to do? I don't know, but I just want to show you one other thing that I just got. <laughs> um, this is an apparatus so that I, when I am out on the streets, in the cafes, I can clip it. Let me see if I can do this very quickly. <laughs> it's so I can uh, film myself while I'm drawing. So you put this on the table right in front of you and then you hook the um, camera right over. So I'm gonna be that freak in the cafes, in the, probably cafes, I wouldn't do this in a restaurant, um, who's gonna be filming myself because I'm gonna be doing more of the double-handed continuous line, right? So I'm pretty excited about that. So what we're gonna do right now, because I want you all to like keep up with this practice and the way to do that is keep yourself conditioned. So I'm gonna switch it from the phone and we're gonna do some warm ups over here. <clears throat> Let's see, did I line that up? I hope I line that up. Might be a little crooked. Oh, just, there we go. Okay, is it straight? No. <laughs> I'll get there. There we go. That's a little bit better, right? Okay, so the line warm-ups. One of the, you know, we do. I do a lot of these things too, but another really good thing to do is the rolling ramen. Rolling ramen. There's a lot of different variations of ramen um, because they're fun. They look like lasagna noodles and ramen noodles, right? And they're a good way to like fill texturing. Um, what am I mean by that? Like let's just for example say rooftops or dress ruffles or, um, or uh, water, oceans, right? And so I'm moving pretty fast right now. I usually go a little bit slower. Um, just because I like my lines to be tidy, um, but that's the, that's not like the right way of doing it. It just happens to be where I'm settling with it. But you're invited to move at your own pace. Um, but those of you who are doing this coffee uh, cha coffee cup challenge for the first time, I would even if you don't share it, I would like you to. Um, you know, uh, try this, right? Because this is part of the continu... Well, no, no, no. This is part of the drawing magic, right? I'm not going to say continuous line magic because I don't really feel like... It is not my goal to get everyone to draw in continuous line. Those of you that are with me and in this group, I feel like your we're, our shared um, goal is to be a better drawer... And I know it's certainly one of my goals, right, to just, you know, just always keep at it, right? This is a lifelong hobby. This is a lifelong journey. This is a lifelong, do I say, dare say career? Well, I guess the time will tell <laughs> if this is in the cards for me in the future, right? But it is something that is very important to me. And uh, I'm very inspired by it, and I like to get others, um, I like to rally others, right? So these very simple elementary drawing warm-ups make such a powerful di uh, difference 
in your ability to hit the mark. What do I mean by that? Like you, you sit down to draw something, and if you've been doing things like this, you're able to hit the mark. It's not perfect, but you it gets better, right? It gets better, and that's what I am here for. That's why I've got, I could wallpaper the whole city of Guanajuato with all my drawing warm-ups. That would be a big job. I would need lots of ladders. <laughs> Uh, even in my own apartment, I need ladders everywhere because everything is tall. I didn't really think about that, but every, like every cabinet, I need a stepping stool. <laughs> All right, so rolling ramen, uh, why it's good is be, if you're not in the habit of writing cursive anymore, this helps you get back into that. You may not even want to get back into it because who... Um, Ah, oh, let's. I'd like to think that there are times and needs for drawing or writing cursive, even though it is completely a dying art, right? So there's the rolling ramen, which I don't know. That is a very fun pattern. Can you see all that? Can you see the energy of those lines? That's what I'm here for too. The energy of these lines, because it's not perfect. There, do I even have any collisions? Oh my God, I don't have, look at that, that's amazing. I don't have one uh, collision here. Let me have a sip of my coffee. Because obviously that's at the heart of this thing, right? The heart, right? So now I'm gonna finish big with a heart because I think that that is so importante. Go easy on myself, go easy on others, go easy on myself. Go. E I'm then struggling, you know, moving to this new city, just things that I wasn't mm, prepared for or didn't consider. And so there's just been some challenges, not the end of the world, not a, the, a deal breaker, but you know, just some things that have been challenging for me, right? New city new energy my god it couldn't be more different than mexico city or san miguel for that matter right so it's a whole different deal over here in Guanajuato, and just trying to get things set up and like oh my god did i make the right decision or am i am i doomed i don't know <laughs> maybe we're all doomed right uh maybe not maybe every day you just keep doing the thing that you love to do and for me that's drawing right so i feel like the more i draw the more I'll be able to solve my problems, right? I feel like it helps me to think more clearly when I tend to my drawing practice because it calms me, it centers me, it, and, and, and thereby allows me to think more clearly. And I think that given the chaos of the world and, you know, the 24-7 news cycle that even if you try to stay away from it, it bombards us at some point. And so by doing the thing that helps calm and center you, whatever that is, if you're probably in this group, it may be drawing, uh, just keep doing that because, here I'll speak for myself, I'm gonna keep doing that because it helps me to think clearly and um, it helps me to solve my problems when I stick to my drawing practice. So uh, let's see here, do I wanna do a, um, no, I'm too nervous to do a, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna do a, I was gonna do a coffee cup demo, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna, when I do my coffee cups, I kinda have to have peace of mind and have tranquility. <laughs> yeah, right, good luck with that. Um, okay, everyone, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna go do my coffee cup now and uh, the December Zoom classes. There we go, finish big with the heart. Do your ramen lines or your um, warm up lines, but always finish big with the heart because it just feels uh, good that way. <laughs> it's a good reminder to take care and, and be gentle, right? Because these are interesting times. So anyways, I'm gonna take my um, apparatus <laughs> Oh my God, it's kind of big, isn't it? It's really hard. That's always been the thing with these things. Is they're never strong enough to hold cameras and it goes jiggle, 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 right? So this is like serious, serious uh, 
selfie <laughs> apparatuses. So I'm going to go out there and do some drawing. And I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone is drawing. And the coffee cups that you're enjoying or whatever drinking vessel you decide to partake in. Let me have a little sip of my coffee. Mm -mm -mm. All right, everyone. Happy Sunday. Let me see your coffee cups and I'll see you next time. Bye.